So we know that Microsoft and Sony had some epic battles in the past. You know, obviously that's all in the past, but a lot of times, you know, even myself included, and I can admit where I was wrong with this, you know, Microsoft would do something like the uh the the game pass situation right oh here's game pass oh that's cool originally game pass wasn't day one games but the fact that nobody was buying xbox games really meant that you had to kind of go out there and uh you know offer some reason some way to kind of recoup costs maybe get people to uh do something that would actually help uh, the, the, these developers. So, you know, that's that's kind of crazy to me. And, you know, I, obviously at the uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're kind of looking at this and we're kind of shaking our heads just a little bit uh, because Microsoft is con- continually changing what they're doing. And everybody was quick to say, again, myself included, I'm included in this, that the, you know, Game Pass with the Day One games and Sony needed to do this, or they were screwing over their fans or whatever. Uh, Well, as it turns out, they weren't screwing over their fans, they were keeping developers able to develop games, right? Like, this is just the fact of the matter, is you've got to have games, uh, and you've got to have a way to pay for games. Developers, we've seen it uh, even more so recently with um, that game where you're an action figure or whatever, and you know that game sold over a hundred thousand units on xbox not a huge amount but he would rather sell those hundred uh thousand units than you know go into game pass and he made that very very clear um you know many of us and and like i say i take my lumps with this myself included kind of said okay well you know what's the deal you know is 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 that is that going to be You know, is that going to be the norm going forward? And Sony said repeatedly, you know, we can't sustain this. We can't do that. So now we see that there's even more changes to Game Pass. And it kind of proves a lot of the PlayStation fans right that it doesn't work as it was. Uh, You know, and there is also the other side to that coin where Sony was genius. They kind of stumbled into a Game Pass standard with PlayStation Plus Extra that's not only cheaper it has more and it has better games and it also doesn't sacrifice the core model like what microsoft is doing is effectively confusing their fan base first of all secondly um you know they're they're kind of screwing over their fan base so when we look at this and we go okay well how can you know how how did playstation uh realistically do what they've done and be able to stay where they're at well You have to be able to read the market kind of where it's at. And when I say that, what I mean is, you know, not how Microsoft does it. Like Microsoft for sure, and and they always have kind of done this. Microsoft will look to the future, right? And they'll look, but they'll look 15, 20 years to where they think the future will be. And it's not always going to be like that. And you sacrifice what you have, the cards in your hands for some cards over there that you don't know what they are right so maybe you've got three aces right but at the same time there could be you know less than that across the way and 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 that's a that's a real bad situation to kind of be in um if you're if you're a uh a gamer so you know again we're the fans we're the ones that should be getting the deals and all this kind of stuff and when you see you know that Sony actually kind of stumbled into this, and now that Sony is actually doing, you know, PS2 remasters and adding trophy support for these games and stuff like that, they actually picked the ball up to where Microsoft was fumbling. You know, we all kind of wish that Microsoft was still going out there and uh, doing these things with backwards compatibility and, and whatnot. And the fact that they aren't is uh, a, a real issue, like in my opinion, anyway. You know, I'm not saying that that clearly everybody's going to feel that way, but. One of the best things about, you know, Xbox was that they were working on back compatibility. We get a new batch of them. It was a time to celebrate. We'd all go get the game and, you know, we play it and take our picture and put it on X with our thumb on there. Hey, I got this game. Look, I'm going to play it via backwards compatibility. And now it's like, you know, Sony sees it. And, and I'm not saying that, you know, waste a ton of resources. But when you have a program like that that is that wins people over why not you know why not continue doing it i don't understand the thought process especially you know when you need goodwill (laughs) and trust me xbox needs goodwill because sony 
is beating them that at everything. And the, and there's a lot of Xbox fans that will go, well, Xbox is setting themselves up for com- for the future with this, that, and the other thing. Listen, we saw Ghost of Tsushima take the number one spot on the NPD or whatever because it went to PC. And that's a smart move. Like, I'm not for games going to PC, but look at how Microsoft does it versus how Sony does it. Microsoft gives away a PC version if you buy it on console and vice versa. And, you know, they have Game Pass, which takes away and cannibalizes sales. What Sony does is they come out with these games t- utilizing the full capabilities of the console, right? And then they release it uh, on PC years later, and it still does pretty well. You know, the good games anyway. Not every game is going to, you know, do well like that. But, um, you know, that's kind of how we look at these things, and, and, and it manages to do well for them. And it also has people, they double dip. They have to pay twice for the game. That's how business is run, you know, and and when you look at, at, at Sony, they do things kind of right with that. And then when you look at Microsoft, Microsoft kind of, you know, shot themselves in the foot with the way that they do that. I'm sure Microsoft wished that they never did day one Game Pass games because look at how much trouble they're having getting out of that. They probably wish that they would do what the main tier is, uh, the lesser tier on Game Pass is going to be, which is. You get a back catalog of games, and then maybe you get the new games six months to a year later or so. So, you know, they probably wish that that's the way that they would have handled that because you want those initial sales, and the only way you're going to get those sales is by, you know, having it to where people actually have to buy the thing. And not only was Microsoft, but Microsoft is so slow to this stuff to realize what's going on. Like, people like me were stacking Game Pass for next to nothing for years at a time. So now they cut that off. You know, you can only stack 13 months. Um, You know, if you ever have to resubscribe, you have to subscribe to the higher tier to get day one games. Uh, You know, they confuse everybody. I'm sure some people have already left. Uh, And that's probably a reason why they had to raise prices, you know, because they have Game Pass and they promise, you know, a big game every quarter. And then they don't follow through with that. You know, here we are seven months into the year and uh, we had Hellblade 2. You know, sure, we've got supposedly Indiana Jones and Avowed coming, but, you know, when are, like, is that November? Do we go, you know, 11 months in the year with just that one Hellblade 2 game? Like, this is the problem that fans see with this service. And, you know, anytime there's, like, issues or whatever, uh, it seems like, like, Microsoft doesn't really have answers to it, you know? Um, it's it's really unfortunate, and as just an, a fan of... Uh, of Xbox, I, I don't know where they stand, but then when you look over at what Sony's doing, you know, they've managed to kind of nail it uh, and kind of, you know, even though people kind of made fun of what they were doing and the way they were doing it, uh, to me, they kind of really stumbled upon a better way than Microsoft. And they get to save their big exclusives to be these big things because, you know, and I've mentioned this before, but there's certain games, man, like Gears of War, for instance, that game pushed so many Xbox 360 consoles, right? People bought xbox 360s for gears of war i mean yeah they bought it for halo 3 later and other stuff as well but man everybody was talking about gears of war gears of war gears of war and it's such this huge thing you had to have an xbox to play it and they really kind of sacrificed a lot when they started releasing that on pc uh you know you were having to deal with like a lot of the pc players were using hacks and stuff and you couldn't get out of crossplay on ranked uh with pc so they really kind of hurt themselves it took away some of the mystique it's like you know um i'm a big fan of like toys in the 80s and stuff i was a big he-man fan and i you know i watched some documentaries on it and it's like this one guy said uh you know when he-man started to it was really popular at one point and then it started to not be popular and they started offering it in like bargain bins at toys r us and stuff and it says it loses and the guy said you know the marketing guy said it loses that mystique and you can never get it back i feel like xbox has lost that mystique and i don't think they'll ever be able to get it back because you know they're putting their games on like every little thing it really cheapens it and uh you know the game quality has kind of taken a nosedive in some areas Uh, I think some of the games are getting better. Obviously, we're not getting, you know, super bad quality like Crackdown 3, with the exception of like Redfall, which they closed down that studio. Um, But again, we're not seeing a lot that's also going to be, you know, provocative for um, the 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 majority of people as well. That's a big problem. So, you know, I got to say kudos to Sony for kind of getting it right, uh, even though it was kind of uh, by accident, I guess. You know, kind of. You know, hey, we got to do something, and, and Game Pass is a good deal, but it continues to—it'll continue to raise in prices. I mean, five bucks 
uh, <laughs> a month it's raised in the last year or so. So that's a tremendous amount of money for the average person. So, you know, again, it raises it all. You're almost paying 250 bucks a year for this service now. So it's crazy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like Sony has capitalized on Microsoft's mistakes? Sound off, rate, comment, subscribe. Rack them up. Crap Gamer out.